in the USA, United States. And to find out all about it, I welcome uh, Sam and Willow. Hi, guys. Hello. Hey, How's yeah. it going? Now, Willow, you seem bright and chirpy and, and fine. When did you get back from the States? I got back on Thursday. And Sam, uh, you're okay. You look, <laughs> you look a bit special, though. Um, when did you get back? Uh, Sunday night after a... Um, missed flight connection in Sydney. So, uh, oh, how did why did you miss the flight? Um, well, one of their uh, air bridges wasn't working, and we wouldn't have that problem in Hobart, of course, would we? No, no air bridges. Like, when you say one of the Sydney air bridges, what about the other no, 90, we, we 97 air bridges at they one have? one gate. Um, they were waiting there for an hour, and then we finally moved to another one. Um, and then we apparently had to pick up our bags, and we didn't, and then just missed it, and it was had another lovely six hours in Sydney Airport. So, oh, oh, joy, no. joy. You didn't think of going into the city, maybe? Oh, it's just, uh, uh, no. <laughs> now, are you both playing on the same roller derby? Was this one team of roller derby that went over? Yes. Yeah. It so, was. What were you called? Team Australia, Junior Roller Derby. Oh, it's the actual so, Australian yeah. side, is it? Oh, good Lord. How exciting. Yeah. Team right. Australia. How'd you go? We came fourth. You and... came, great. Out of how many? Out of four. Out of four. Oh, okay. Well, that's all right. He still doesn't change the no, name. No, no. came fourth. Now, for those of us at home who don't know exactly what Roller Derby is and haven't probably seen it in a while or haven't watched some of those, there's some great movies based on it. Can you quickly explain the rules and how it works? Um, well, there's two teams and you've got five players each on this oval track mm -hmm. and you basically have to keep skating around and hitting each other, and one person from each team, the jammer, has to get through everyone else, and each person they pass on the other team is a point. Right, so you've got to keep overtaking the other team. Yeah. Going around, a bit like the Daytona 500 with exactly. the race cars, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's almost, because they crash into each other for a bit. <laughs> they probably don't try and do it. So is, is, there, is it quite a violent sport? Um, it can be. It's kind of, I guess, depends. Like, one of a couple of the US teams, they sort of like to hit a bit more than we did, I guess. Oh, okay. um, but it's, you know, you're all, you've got legal contact zones, um, you wear full protective gear. Okay. So it's all very controlled, but um, of course, you know, there are a few thrills and spills. We had the the uh, lovely medics helping helping out a few times. Oh, really? Yeah, so the people got... So, yeah. Yeah, we've had yeah. one Aussie kid come home with a dislocated shoulder. Oh! So. In your team? Yep. Yeah. Oh, no. And we had a concussion as well, which wasn't too good. Gosh, um, but you've got your helmet yeah. protective. Yeah, yeah, we've got yeah. all that on. Um, we had, uh, yeah, sponsors help out with some new helmets, and they all looked flashy. and Fantastic. Yeah. Because, Sam, I helped out with your, you had a bit of a fundraiser. Yeah, exactly. Well, absolutely. That was Because you had to pay your own way over, yeah? Yeah, no, no um, funding from any government or anything like that. So <laughs> It's hard, isn't yeah. it? It's quite expensive. Yep. Not just flights, but accommodation, etc. Absolutely. Now, I want to ask, while you're playing, uh, where are the referees? A referee or an umpire? Referee? Referees. Where are the referees? Where are they at that point? Are they are skating around with you? Yeah, they're on skates too. Please tell me they sometimes get taken out. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Do they? <laughs> that would be funny. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but we as an audience love watching umpires and referees falling over and oh, getting yeah, taken yeah. out Plenty by the that. ball. Was, um, sometimes they'll just sort of, you know, stumble over the feet because they're on the skates on sort of the inside and the outside of the track. So yeah. they'll, if, you know, someone gets a decent hit out, then um, they'll go sliding into a referee and take them out with oh. them. And <laughs> you get penalised for that or is it uh, fast accidental? Depends whether... Depends it's whether you really try to avoid them or... Oh, right. Uh, yeah, yeah. So they can tell if you obviously went for them or... You <laughs> yeah, look, yeah. they... Um, yeah, penalties definitely are a big part of it. We had... Um, I Basically, if you get seven penalties in a game, you're fouled out and you're not allowed to play for the rest of it. I got six in one of them, so I was pretty close. So, uh, oh, damn. Yeah. <laughs> now, Willow, uh, do, you play, do you have positions? Like, do you all have different positions in the team? Do you have, like, names? Uh, yeah, everyone sort of plays every position, but there right. are some people who are better at jamming, at scoring the points and going okay. fast, and what? some people who are better blocking. What do you sit? Where do you sit? In uh, the... I'm generally a blocker. Really? Yeah. And you got like, no, no, no offence, you're a sort of height challenge. <laughs> As a, so what, would you be the shortest person on your team? No, there's one person shorter than well, me. And you're both good at blocking? Yeah. So the shorter you are, probably the, the blocking is the way to go. Oh, yeah. it's Everyone's really different. Okay. Everyone can do different things. Oh, okay, Sam, what about you? Well, I can I can spread out to cover half the track. Because you're, like, tall and lanky almost, aren't yes, right? you? Yes, yes. Um, so I can sort of block, but I'm also, I do a bit of jamming. So basically I sort of go up, you sort of, I can just, like, fit through a gap and um, 
Yeah. Now, how, tell me, you use inline skates or you use the old no, roller skates? No, no, the quad skates, the proper, proper. Like we all used to yep, yep, back yep. in the day when I was your age. Yep, exactly. Okay. Oh, great. Um, so, yeah, it's a big thing. And then we're sort of after the, uh, all that, the, so it was two days of World Cup and then there were the American Championships for the three days after. Did you compete in both? Um, no, Cup? we watched and we played in one sort of challenge game where we mixed up with some of the US teams. That's okay. fun. Yeah. yeah. I and suppose you, did, you get, did you get a lot out of it? Like, did you learn a lot? Do you come away more experienced, feeling like you're a better, um, better player? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, like, definitely. Um, nothing like being thrown in the deep end. Like, I mean, we're, you know, strong team, done a lot of practice, but... It's kind of not quite at the same level that the Americans compete sure. at. So, yeah, that sort of... Yeah. Willow, who won? Who won the, the world? Did the US win? Yeah, it was oh, the right. West team, I think. The West team. Oh, okay, so they had an East team and a West yep. team. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And the West team, come, East team came second? Yeah. Oh, that'd be and wrong. then Canada <laughs> came third. Oh, so it's all like home grown stuff. So it was pretty much. It was meant to be Belgium and Argentina too, but they pulled out at the last minute due to various... Oh yeah, okay. fundraising and well, team issues. Think, yeah, 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 feasibility issues and not being able to, being able to get. Had you both yeah. been to the states before? No, no, never been out of a. Wow, well, yeah. like, what did you think of America? Uh, it was pretty hot. Yeah, compared well, to... it's summer. <laughs> yeah. yeah, of course. Did you enjoy it though? Do you like yeah. it? Is it just like being in the movie? When I, what city were you in? <laughs> Seattle. Seattle. So was it just like you know, if you watch movies based in Seattle, you go, oh, I know that place, I know that place, I know that place. <laughs> did it feel like being in a movie? A little bit. Yeah, I yeah. thought so. Sam, you, and you hadn't been either? Um, no, no. I um, In Seattle, it was an amazing city. Like it, um, almost, you did have to remind yourself a couple of times that you were in a different country. It kind of felt a little bit like being in a big city like Sydney. Oh, um, okay. A little bit. Just, um, and everyone just talked funny. Yeah, and they were like, can you please keep talking? I love your accent. They and do love us. They, they love Australians. They love talking. Yeah. yeah. Sam had so many girls just... Did obsessed he? over his accent. Did they? <laughs> <laughs> yep. There you go. <laughs> I can't believe you're blushing, Sam. Oh, that's very funny. <laughs> no, now, I've... Um, and you came straight home, Willow? I stopped you? off in Hawaii for a day. Oh, laddie, yeah. I bet it was hot there as well. Oh, yeah. How was that? Sunburnt. It was great. I got to swim in Honolulu. Oh, wow. Which was pretty great. Beautiful. And were you, did you have someone with you? Yeah, my mum oh, and great. little brother. Oh, fantastic, Sam. Did you have people travelling with um, you? I went with um, someone else in our team, Stella, who was from Hobart too. Um, right. Couldn't make it in today, but um, right. her mum, who was the coach, um, or our Hobart coach, um, so I was with them. And we had four nights in LA on Venice Beach on the way back. Oh, wow. That's great. Um, That's the best way to do it too. Yeah. Go and do the yep. competition, whatever competition you're in, and then see some sights. And then yeah. um, a night in Seoul on the way back too. Yeah, why Seoul? So, well, it was... Is that the way the plane went? We, um, we got some cheap flights that were only about two dollars cheaper and it seemed like a good idea at the time and we yeah, went through yeah. Seoul and then we'll, by the time we had to see that second 10 hour flight it was like oh <laughs> but um no it was really great yeah Seoul yeah fun did you enjoy Seoul yeah loved it had um in a funky district called Insadong and all right did you eat any kimchi uh which is the cabbage yes, the stew yes did you get with some. every meal over there yeah you, like we ordered um three meals and it sort of came out and we're like oh okay that's Great, and then they just bring out more and more and more yeah, and yeah. more, and then and quite affordable. Yeah, Did you yeah, absolutely. Find? Yeah. So, what's next, guys? Training? Are the championships coming up? Yeah. For team, you because you play in the local comp. Um, there's You're... not a big junior roller derby scene in Tassie much. There's two junior teams, us and Launceston. Um, so what's next? Which which is the next? When's the, when are you next playing? If people wanted to come um, out and see uh, you, are you playing against Launceston? Yeah, on the 15th of August. Because I know the Van Diemen roller yes, team had, um, had an intake a few weeks ago. Yeah, so they've got a, is it no, Devil State up there too, have got a junior league. At Mowbray so, um, Sport and Skate, they were up there having a, so, a, a yeah. recruitment. So if people are yeah. interested, can they get you on Facebook or Absolutely. a website they want to join? Yes, um, if you search Hobart Junior Roller Derby on yeah. Facebook, you'll get our Facebook page. Brilliant. And I'll probably be the one answering the messages. So, Great. Um, yeah. Fantastic, Sam. <laughs> yeah. And Willow, congratulations on coming forth. You can only go up from there. Thank you very Thank much. You. And um, uh, thanks so much for coming in and talking to us on your afternoon. A pleasure. Thank you, John. <laughs> it's uh, 22 minutes past three.